morning. Today I'm going to do a makeup look for Barbara. She's in, she's a regular in our comment. She's a regular in our comments and she's been following me since she followed me in my previous channel. The one that I deleted. <laughs> Long story. Anyway, she is, she has blonde hair and blue eyes and she wanted, she says she mostly wears topes and she wanted to do something different. So I have a regular client that I do her makeup about twice a month and she has blonde hair and blue eyes and she's around our age. So, I'm going to show you what I do for her. First of all, I use, well, the last time I was there, I used this, the P. Louise Eye Base. Wow, that's nice. I've got some eyelash and glue or something stuck to my eyelid. I swear I washed my face before. Before I came, before I cut on the camera, here I got one of these doodahs. I use these on, on my client. There we go. So this is the P. Louise Eye Base, and uh, it's probably the lightest one. It is number one. Wow, my eyelids are really dry. Hold on, let me get a wet sponge. My, my client doesn't have these dry skin issues. She's on hormone replacement. I am not. I was advised to not do hormone replacement because my mother did it and as soon as she started it, she got breast cancer. Blah, 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 blah. But anyway, I don't have to use a damp sponge on her to smooth this out. I just use a concealer brush or, or a fluffy eyeshadow brush. All right, I have scaly eyelids. I don't know what I've done wrong. Too many eye looks consecutively, I guess. Okay, get that all smoothed out. It looks like we're too bright. Okay, and I use the Scott Barnes Snatchel Palette for her eye look. And I usually begin with bisque. And I choose these colors because they really make her blue eyes pop. This is the color I'm using. Yes, it's time for me to do something different with my nails. And I am. I am, however, going to put this combo on my toes. Right now I have kind of a peachy color, corally color on my toes. It's nothing to write home about. I just grab, grabbed something and painted them. I figured it was better than just leaving them chipped. Okay. Then... I put something dark in the corner. Probably brick house. And I carry it underneath. I don't carry it underneath as heavy on her as I do on myself. So see, we're still staying in the warm tones. Okay. 
I use the Temptation as her brow powder from this palette. I'm going to put some, I do not do this to her, but I'm going to do this to me because I like it. This is the Opening Act by Tarte. It's a lash primer. All right, you little hairs, you're supposed to be in here. And like I said, I do not put this in her eyebrows. Her eyebrows are pretty full as it is, so I don't need to. All right, but I do use this color, Temptation, in her eyebrows. And I do add some to the front because hers aren't quite long enough either. There's, I think the fronts and the backs have disappeared some. She doesn't have her brows tattooed on like I do. She doesn't, she hasn't had as much done to her face. <laughs> So I try to get this to be a nice, gentle arch here and not have any funny gaps. And I, I do that for her too. Okay. I don't do hers as, as extreme as mine. Sometimes I put gel in her brows, but not always. Her brows do get set though, because I spray her with the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. No, she likes the uh, Morphe. I use the Morphe on her. This is Muted from the same palette. And Barbara has these same brushes. They're the Wayne Goss. They came in a set. It's the number seven. This is the number seven brush. Yes, I take this much time on my clients. Unless, of course, I have a huge wedding party and I have to rush through them. And then I'm, I can't spend enough, I can't spend, make sure, I cannot put every tiny brow hair in place if I have an entire wedding party. <laughs> Cheers. Okay, if she's going out, I often put a glittery, glittery lid, and this one is called Hollywood, and it's from the Scott Barnes palette. All right, and I use the, I use the Eye Studio the Maybelline Eye Studio on her, and I do a conservative wing. That's nice, my eyelids are peeling. There's one, we're getting there.
if you aren't steady enough to draw this liner on, I'll show you what you can do instead. Okay, if you're not steady enough to draw gel liner on, you can just take a brush like this and in this Scott Burns palette he has a, a, a flat black, a matte black, and you can just stamp that in your lash line to make sure those lashes are nice and dark. That really makes those blue eyes pop. That that dark lash line. See that's simple. Just just stamp it. Stamp it in your lash line. Like that. And then I stamp it on the outside. Like that. Then I put lashes on her. I'm going to put my lashes on and I'll be right back. Lashes on. Okay. So we have the eyeshadow, the lashes. Then I begin on skin and I use. On her, I always use the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Primer, and I usually use a brush. So I'm gonna use a brush today, maybe. Okay, can't find one. I don't know what I did with it. So I'm gonna use my finger. That way I can press it in. I use a lot around her nose and mouth. She doesn't give as much Botox as I do. I think she just freezes her forehead. I don't think she does all this part. All right. Then I use the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Foundation. I just do not know where my, I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna use the 3D HD Kabuki brush. I usually use a Sephora flat foundation brush. And I put this on She's usually going out to meet friends. She has a big, she's very gregarious. She has lots of friends. She's always, somebody's always having a party or a, or they're meeting downtown. She goes to halls a lot. So if this look looks like too much for an everyday look, Barbara, just tone it down. And if it's not enough, I'll show you what to do. And yes, this part needs to be made up on my client too, even though she's going out. She does not wear a mask. Okay. I have to go get the under eye concealer that I use on her. Hold on. I, yeah, I save all the bougie stuff for my clients. Um, this is the hourglass and I do contour her nose. I usually use the Vanish concealer brush from hourglass to do this. But then I have to get up and go get that out of the kit. So I'm not going to. But I used the Vanish concealer on her. She does not have filler in her lips. Okay. I set her under eyes with the hourglass powder. I use the Charlotte Tilbury Tilbury. to contour and bronze her. 
I'm going to use this brush today. I do something similar to this to contour her nose. And I contour around her hair, warm up around her hairline or contour or whatever. Put some If you have a short forehead already, don't do this. Or you could just give it a tiny little swipe just to warm it up. I do her jawline. I put some mascara on her. I don't see the one that I use the oh great lash waterproof I think I think I used the waterproof great lash on her but today I'm using And I try to get her lashes the best I can. She has teeny baby lashes on the bottom. Okay. I use the Patrick Top on her in Oh, She's Different. And I use the cream side and the powder side and she she's uh, very lean so she has high cheekbones too sometimes in the summer I bring this around towards the front so the blush then I set it with the powder part and I brush a little across the bridge of her nose maybe some on the chin I use the medium pillow talk on her lips man I I had forgotten how nice these pencils are because I hadn't used them in so long. And I use, the last time I was there, I used this lip gloss. The Patrick Top, oh, she's different. No, she's an influencer. Okay, one more coat of mascara. And if I need some more eye, I go in with some more of one of these, whatever color. Let's see, how about some? Last time, oh, I did use bisque. I'll just go in with some more bisque. All right, there's my look for a blue eyed, bl oh, I do go back with some more, with some more powder and strategically set right here. And then I set her face with the, the Morphe setting spray. But I'm not going to set my face because I feel like it'll make it feel dry. I don't know. I just don't feel like it. Thank you so much for watching. 
And thank you, Barbara, for your request. If you haven't already, please subscribe, activate the notification bell, leave a comment and let me know what kind of look you want to see. Also, share my videos with your friends and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Ta-ta!